Being a part of a paranormal team allows us access to some very interesting places. On one such occasion, we had the privilege of staying overnight in one of New Zealand's oldest and, in my opinion, most haunted prisons. Napier Prison was built in 1862 on top of Bluff Hill and was originally constructed to hold just 30 prisoners. The prison's exterior walls are built from blocks of stone from a nearby quarry, which were hand cut and shaped by inmates in 1906. The facility was used until the early 1900s and was officially decommissioned in 1993. In addition to being a prison, the location was also used as an orphanage and a psychiatric unit. During the 19th century, four hangings were conducted at the prison. Napier Prison's most infamous death row inmate is that of mass murderer Roland Herbert Edwards, who was hanged on the 15th of July, 1884. Roland was sentenced to death after cutting the throats of his wife and children after having a premonition of his family perishing in a house fire. Roland is said to be buried upright in the prison graveyard in a state of eternal unrest. There have been claims that Roland's spirit is often seen wandering around the graveyard, being especially active on July the 15th, the anniversary of his death. The investigation started out as normal enough. We got to choose the rooms where we would be staying to keep our stuff that we didn't need for the investigation. Lisa and I decided that we would share a room and we chose a room more for the fact that it had a bunk bed with mattresses and a bedside table. They never let the public into this particular cell. The investigation was uneventful and nothing interesting of note. It was about 3 a.m. and we had a long drive ahead of us in the morning. So we decided to try and get some shut eye. Oh my god, there's a big spider. Huh? <laughs> so I'm gonna have to get rid of it. Luckily I decided to keep my camcorder rolling while we were trying to get to sleep. Okay, I'm ready, you can turn the light off. We were just settling in and we started to hear thundering footsteps come marching along the corridor. It sounded like they stopped just outside our cell. Oh. WTF was that? <laughs> Did you hear that? Yeah. Our cell was at the end of a corridor with no exit. We commented at how strange that noise was and proceeded to try and forget about it. I'm hoping it's Barbara. Oh, my. Outside our room. You know, like outside outside. And it happened again. This time the footsteps came to the cell and then it sounded like someone was banging on the cell furiously. It got quite a shock and yelled out to other investigators to see if it was them and there was no answer. Guys, is that you? To note, also the atmosphere was getting thicker and thicker and it really felt like we were being pushed out of the room.
I could tell the energy was getting more and more negative. I felt a hand touch my leg and it made me extremely uncomfortable. Oh, I feel like someone's touching my leg. Yeah? I feel like someone's touching my leg. Oh really? Oh god. Don't say that. <sighs> Fuck. What was that? I don't know. She sounds very uncomfortable. It's like someone threw something. Uh, what? It sounds like someone threw something. Really? Fuck, they have a fright, sorry. <sighs> Can we go to a hotel? <sighs> We heard the footsteps for a final time and then suddenly we heard a very loud crashing sound of metal hitting metal and then rolling around. Fuck was that? What the hell? Seriously, it was something thrown. What the fuck? Wasn't it? What the legitimate fuck? At this stage, it was safe to say we were more than a little concerned. Oh my god! That's definitely something thrown, wasn't it? I'm, I, I can't even... I can't even do this, I don't think. Yes, you can. We're alright. We'll be alright. Don't worry. I don't think anything's gonna hurt us. It's just gonna be noises and... You know, we're gonna have to get up and actually see what that was. You think so? That gave me such fright. Things are getting closer to this room. Yeah. Like it started off up there and now it's like... Down here. It just sounds like it's right outside the door. <sighs> I'm trying to think what it could be. I'm actually shaking. Are you? I am so scared right now. It'll be alright, don't worry. We decided to pluck up the courage and investigate. Oh, okay, the camera. Oh. We have only been in bed half an hour. And already, oh my god. Sorry, don't worry. I'm too I'm scared something's gonna grab me. That's fine. Too many, watch too many horror films. Hello. We found an ever ready <gasps> battery. Oh my god, batteries. Oh my god. Oh my god, guy. <gasps> the light's turned off. Batteries. It was thrown with Barbara. such force Barbara. it bent the battery. Oh my god, I have got the chills. Guys! Have you, got, have you filmed that? <laughs> there is a battery on the floor. Okay, I'm gonna just not even trunk out of my sleeping bag. <laughs> Guys! Aren't they in here? Oh my god. Well, can, can you come in? Open the door. Something threw a battery at us at our room. <laughs> I can't even open your door. Something's just thrown a battery. It can sound like a Very interesting. Very creepy.